Okay, my suggestion is to clear the fraction by multiplying both sides of this equation, or every term, by the LCD. The LCD by inspection is 4x minus 3x minus 3. All right, let me do that for you without too much writing. That's going to be 6x plus 5 times x minus 3 minus 4x plus 4 times 4x minus 3, and 0 times anything is 0. Let's simplify. We get 6x squared. You can get minus 18 plus 5, which is minus 13x minus 15 minus, let's do this guy over here. That's going to be 16x squared. And then you're going to get minus 12 plus 16 which will be 4x, and you get minus 12. I got to combine like terms. You're going to get minus 10x squared. Let's see, minus 13 minus 4 is minus 17x, and minus 15 minus a minus 12 is going to be minus 3 equals 0. I, uh, I tend to like equations where the, the leading coefficient is positive, so I'm going to multiply both sides by minus 1, and you get 10x squared plus 17x plus 3 equals 0. All right, so we're looking at it. My gut feeling is, you know, I could factor it, but, you know, yeah, let's factor it. Let's do that. I'm going to say 5 and 2. And I'm going to say 3 and 1 plus plus. We'll do the quadratic formula too, by the way. That gives me 10x squared. I get 15 and 2 is 17x. Works beautifully. So what do you get over here? x equals minus 1 fifth, or x equals minus 3 halves. Are we getting that in the answer key? Minus 1 fifth, minus 3 halves. We got it. Now, by the way, I'm going to erase that because this is really the section on the quadratic formula. So I'm going to erase things I don't need anymore. I don't need this. I don't need all this work over here. I'm kind of done with that. I'm ahead of that now. And I know this is leading to the right answer anyway, so I want to use quadratic formula, though. And to do that, I do recommend you write down what the A is, you write down what the B is, and you write down what the C is. What's X going to be equal to? Let's take a look at it. It's going to be the opposite of the B, which is minus 17. Oh, i got to do the bottom first. That's 20. I like to do that first, by the way. Minus 17, plus or minus, let's see, 17 squared, minus 4 times A times C. Well, 4 times 10 is 40, and 4 times 3 is 120. All right. Well... It's like deja vu all over again. We've seen these numbers many times before. Plus or minus 17 squared minus 120 is 169. Yes, you're allowed to use calculators if you want to. I do not mind that. And I hope your teachers don't mind using calculators. I hope they're giving you problems that are challenging enough where using a calculator would be sort of ridiculous. But um, sometimes it, it, it helps when you're doing arithmetic. What do you get over here? X equals minus 17. I do hope you appreciate how simple it was to factor the problem and how much work the quadratic formula is. So I get 13 there. I got two answers now. I'll write this down for you. It's minus 17 plus 13 over 20, or x equals minus 17 minus 13 over 20. And let's just do that. Minus 17 minus 13, that's minus 30 over 20, and that would be minus 3 halves. Are we getting that? Yes, we are. What's the other one going to be? Well, that's going to be minus 4 over 20, which is minus 1 fifth. Whoops. Are we getting that answer? Of course we are. Things are working as advertised. I do, I do feel that factoring is easier, though. Thank you.